All right. Mm. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Are we live? Is this live? I think we're live. All right. Brand new show. Here it is. <laughs> Hey now, this is Johnny Bean. It is February 16th, 2022, 8.06 p.m. Eastern, 5.06 Pacific, out here in Santa Cruz, California. Welcome to Talkin' Van Halen on Twitch. Brand new show, Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Eastern, over here. And look at this. Who do we have here? Where are the names at? I had to turn the names off the other day for for uh, for Mancuto's guitar uh, show and tell. What's your and, name uh, and what does he do? <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, Mancuda? Hold on, Mancuda? <laughs> Man, Kurt5150. What's up, Johnny? Hey, hey, good to see you, dude. Awesome. You too. Awesome, man. Rob? <laughs> oh, no. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Oh my god! And one of those days, just saying, just one of those days. Hey, wasn't that a Limp Biscuit cool. uh, Limp Biscuit song? Just one of those days, wasn't that like a Limp Biscuit song? I don't. Yep. know. Yep. What's happening, everybody? I'm not Cheers. sure. I'm not sure. But hey, let me let me just tell you guys who are familiar with us. And if, if you're brand new, it's all good because that's the reason for this is to get a, a new show new show out there get some new uh new audience my name is johnny bean rob and i we've been talking van halen for a lot of years on youtube a 20 lot years a lot of 20. years a lot of years yeah and and uh and basically we're looking to to talk even more van halen so here we are <laughs> how you doing johnny right, rob rob's the man Great. to talk van halen well, when I'm sober, maybe, but the same. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Man. So, hey, who do we have here? Kurt5150 is here, of course. Jeff from State Farm is here. Uh, S. Frank wearing khakis? 67. Mikens is here. Trev Strem is here. Good to see you guys. Yeah, say hi in the chat. Let us know uh, where you're watching from. And yes, yes, we're going to talk some Van Halen guitars. Uh, I have uh, an unboxing for you. Well, nice. I opened it yesterday. But I, have, I have something. Maybe I'll save it. I'll save it for a few minutes because you guys don't even know what it is yet. Re reboxing. My girlfriend, says, my girlfriend says there's zero viewers. I don't want to be the only viewer. Well, babe, I think you're, <laughs> I, I think you're missing something because there's definitely a lot of people in here. We I have see Selena, people, we have people here. Trev Stream, we have Jeff from State Farm, Stephen Franklin, <clears throat> MYKNS. Trev Stream says Kurt with a K. Cheers, brother. Hey, hey now, you guys. Oh, dudes. Selena, I think you need to sign, click on the comments. When you click on not private chat, but click on comments, and then you'll see everybody that's in the chat. Then you can comment. Well, she's not in the stream stream yard, huh? Yeah, but she signed up for Twitch, so so she should be. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so, Johnny, we're we're new to Twitch, hey. and I just want to tell anyone who's watching this later, especially some of the viewers that uh, normally watch this on YouTube, it's actually fairly easy to sign up for Twitch. I was surprised. Um, you can actually click on the link on your phone, and immediately goes on. To the Twitch, the Twitch website, but if you mm -hmm. want to participate in the chat or uh, participate in, um, you don't want to Johnny's live streams, you got to sign up. But it's really easy. Um, you know, I think Twitch is going to be 
the front runner and and kind of these videos in the future so um if you it's haven't happening. done it do it it's really easy it's happening it's happening i'm a believer i awesome. wasn't a believer two hours ago but i am now. <laughs> two minutes ago <laughs> right on. and i didn't know anything about it and i still don't so this is all new to me so <laughs> It's awesome. It's an, it's an awesome place. And, and, uh, hey, there's Barney. Barney. Oh, Hi, hey, Barney. Kissy, kissy. Oh, look at that. He's been waiting to meet his new girlfriend, but she's just not showing up. So, uh -oh. I don't know. Man. I think she's in the dog pound. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Barney says, hey, who's that? Is that your doggy? <laughs> Ronnie, where's Ned? <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm I'm going to introduce someone tonight, a new person tonight, who's not in the video, but they hopefully will be in a chat. Um, but this person I'm going to introduce loves cats, so Johnny, she is going to want to see Ned. So where is Ned? Okay. At some point, you got to introduce Ned because I'll find him. She is going to him, love yeah. Ned. <clears throat> yeah, Ned Halen, as they call yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. Ned Halen. Yeah. Ned Halen yeah. is um, scrubbing the fields of glory for uh, <laughs> mice and bulls for the fields of gold. <laughs> Man. So yeah, um, yeah. So anybody that that's here, welcome. And and uh, yeah, if you like Van Halen, this 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 is the place you want to be here on Twitch. So make sure you you uh, follow. And if you really, really dig it, you can subscribe. Right. So, so there you go. Uh, let's see. I know Rob. I know you. You have something you want to show. Maybe I should. I should just. I should just do this because I told them. I, I told them I would make a video. Yeah. Um, which I haven't do really it. done yet, but this this will count for yeah. that. Do I don't know if any do of it. you guys know anything <clears throat> about this. Do, have any of you guys received one of these? Is that a ball sack? No. <laughs> Where's Nick? Do you guys, do you guys have any idea what this is? A ball sack. Do you guys have any idea? <laughs> this was a no. gift. This was a gift uh, to me from where are we? Fairfield Guitar Company. Very cool. Does that, does that ring a bell? Very cool. Anybody? Fairfield Guitar Company uh, sent this to me, and. You got you guys ready? Ready. You, got, you ready. guys ready? Drum roll, drum roll. Check this out. Oh yeah, where is that drum roll? Oh crap, wrong one. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Very, very cool. Johnny, you, know you the, got do, uh do you know what this yeah, is? Yeah. Yes. That is the famous Eddie Van Halen uh, gunner strap, guitar strap with the military grade uh, belt. Yes, that is really, really cool. They're coming out with those now, and there's some really awesome individuals that are making them. Mine, the one that I have, is actually uh, a custom one that I made years ago, but uh, the one Johnny's got is the new and improved yeah, that's awesome. And Johnny, he may be watching tonight. Um, I messaged him and told him I was going to be on Twitch, and he I think he might be watching, or he'll watch later. Johnny, uh, or Kurt, can you give his name? Um, because I think I gave him the information he needed to help make those. I think. Oh, if it's the I just guy, know him as uh, Fairfield Guitar Company. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Yep. But yep. you did you did send him my Mr. way company and told him to uh to get a hold of me to to get one. Yep. So you got you guys know about these then? You got you yep. guys have seen these like on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Basically it it's uh well Fairfield Guitar Company is is making these these guitar straps. Yep. And like R Rob said, yeah, there you go. Yep. Fairfield Guitars actually messaged me on Instagram uh, weeks ago and was looking for some contacts, and I gave him some contacts. And thanks to him, he took, 
I have a, well, I don't want to say a real one. I have an original one that I custom made. Well, I bought, but then custom made. Um, and I gave him some information and he actually wanted to do a photo shoot with some of my guitars, but we never were able to make it happen. And what Johnny has right there is the awesome version of what everybody needs to get. Cause this guy nailed it. Yep. I have number nine of 50. Number nine. <laughs> number, number nine. DVD. <clears throat> get to the chopper. <laughs> very, very cool. Yeah. So, very, fair, yep. so, so, so Fairfield Guitar Company, thank you so much for this. 78 gunner strap for the 78 white and black Frankie or the shark guitar or the megalodon megazone yeah uh magma whatever you want to call it rob <laughs> i call it the <laughs> oh, <gosh>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. so these these basically are a world war ii gunner strap all right and they have the um oh, retarded i can't figure i can't use that word sorry uh but they have oh the um they have the, the clip and uh wow nothing even works my fingers don't work but it's a it's no, a world no, war no, ii no, strap no. world war ii gunner strap with basically a, a piece of leather like a banjo strap um with a dog clip on the end and that's what eddie was using one of the straps he was using back in 78. so people have been trying to recreate these things there you go johnny yeah 165 plus 15 dollars shipping you can get one and he'll send it to you he sent out 20 some uh the other day yeah yeah so thanks to fairfield guitars who took it upon himself to actually you know uh put these things out um in in production so people could have them and buy them um, that's really, really freaking awesome because up until Fairfield Guitars, we all had to kind of do what I did and go out of our way to make our own. And, and, and it took me forever to find this years ago. It took me forever to find this thing. And he's putting it out for everybody to have. So Fairfield Guitars, kudos to you. I'm glad I had a part in that, um, a small part. You did all the work. I did nothing other than give you some information. Um, Good job, Rob. That, that. guys. Because this is good stuff. This is really awesome stuff. So there, there's a photo right there. There's Eddie. Yeah, there's there's him with his original, you know, the original guitar. And then there's, that was one of the original guitar straps that he used back in the day. Yeah. Yep. So, so Fairfield Guitar Company is making replicas of these things. <laughs> I just I just messaged him on uh, Instagram, told him we gave him a big shout out. Oh, awesome! Yep, yeah, definitely, great guy. Very cool. Very and one of these days, hopefully, um, he's he's in the Connecticut area, which is right up the right right down the road from me. And we're supposed to get together at some point, and he wants to do a, a photo shoot with some of my Van Halen guitars from uh, the museum. Which is now oh, called there's a new name for my museum. It is called the Dojo Fifty One Fifty, and we're gonna put that name out to the YouTubers, the Facebookers, the Instagrammers, and certainly um, <clears throat> um, everyone out there in the community. It's uh, gonna be Dojo Fifty One Fifty is the new name for the Rob Johnson Van Halen Guitar Museum. Um. So, Johnny Mikey Mojo Fifty One Fifty, what's up, dude? Uh, he says uh, hey. it's Lewis is his first name. Yeah. So, Lewis, Lewis, thank you very much. And Mikey, thanks for joining, buddy. Good to see you. Also, my son, Steve-O, Stephen Hawk. Stephen Hawks is in here as well. What's up, Steve? Awesome. Hey, man. Great yeah. guy. Great guy. I get messages from Steve every day. He's just such a cool <laughs> cat. No, just such a cool cat. Always uh, willing to help out in the Van Halen community. Got some really cool stuff to show. Um, just an awesome guy. Just an awesome guy. So, Kurt, you got a great family member there. And here is Fairfield Guitars, which is Fairfield Guitar Co. on Instagram. 
here's the message I got from him uh, the other day on the strap on my Instagram account. Um, this is the piece that John just got, and he's he's nailing it. Um, so thank you very much for putting out what you put out. It's great stuff, and uh, we're going to push it as much as we can because that's what uh, keeps this community alive. Absolutely. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Yes. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Cool, Johnny. That's awesome. You uh, Now you can show John Biel up on Saturday night. <laughs> right? Yeah. The only, the only thing, though, my only issue is I don't have – an actual like the actual guitar you know i don't have a black and white frankie or whatever i don't have a megazone I don't uh, have a, a there's a picture somewhere i have johnny somewhere i think i can't find it now but he was using it on the frankenstrat when it was the frankenstrat and mike hickey we all know mike hickey who's a good friend of mine lives in new hampshire just up the road 15 minutes up the road from me um oh gosh what 80s band did he play for he actually did a video on Instagram. Kurt, you know what I'm talking about. You yep. saw the video. He's got it on his Frankenstrap. Yep. Mike's a good friend of really? mine. Oh, Johnny, yeah, metal, he did. Metal Mike. Mike. Yeah, Metal Mike. Yeah. And there's pictures of uh, me. Um, not me, but there's, I have pictures. Of <laughs> Wait, you want to see those pictures? No, I'm kidding. That's no. for another show. <laughs> yeah. That's when we uh, take the show to, to OnlyFans. Johnny, there are pictures of Ed with that strap on the Frankenstrat when it was red, black, and white. I have them somewhere. I just would take me forever to find it. Just saying. Oh, well, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome to see because I do have, and sorry, I'm getting a, a text from somebody asking how they can jump into the chat. And I keep misspelling the, the word Twitch. I don't know why. Go to twitch.tv slash Johnny Bean and, and just sign up, and, and the chat is right there. You can't miss it. So, Johnny, you know, uh, a couple weeks ago, I talked about getting a new neck for my Frankie. Yeah, It came in. Check it out. Kind of hard to see here. Let me do this. I just got it on today. I haven't even got it strung up yet. I got to work on the action. But it's the Era Correct, big headstock, no skunk oh, stripe. Cool. Um, so I got that on today. Nice. Kurt, you painted that guitar, correct? You did What's that. that. You painted that, right? I painted that, yeah. That was my first guitar I got in 2002. I sold it to get uh, an Ernie Ball Axis, and then the girl I sold it to gave it back to me for free and said she didn't play it, and she gave it to me. So, that was a good anyway, deal. here's my oh. old neck. Right on. <clears throat> Had, it's got the skunk skunk stripe and it's the smaller headstock. Um, mm -hmm. But Johnny, I was saying, if you want to make a, a white and black Frankie, I'll send you this neck. Oh, no way. Yeah. Dude. It's got the thank, brass nut on it. Man. And it's got the Gibson logo on it, Johnny. So you're yep. off that. <laughs> and I had Rob smoke the cigarettes for the burns up here. Cigars. Oh. I don't smoke cigarettes. Cigars. <laughs> oh, man. Well, dude, thank you so much. Um, that's oh, awesome. Man. So Mikey Mojo 5150 said, I think Ed had that strap on the Red Frankie in the Loss of Control video. And you know what, Mike? I think you might be right. I'd have Is to that revisit true? that. Yeah, that's a good call, dude. I that true? that video, but you might be right. And, oh, man. Yeah. Can, can we uh, where Let's is check that? it out. Where is that? Lost Sorry, just had to rip as, into that a little bit. As Johnny looks in, looks that up. I was telling Mikey Mojo the other day, since we're talking about straps, you know the um, buckle strap that Eddie mm -hmm. had on the Bumblebee. Yeah, the seatbelt strap. I think yep. he pulled that seatbelt out of that silver Jeep that he had. Wasn't it the Opal Cadet? The Renegade. What is that what it was? Did he did he say uh, what, it, what it came out I, of? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Because back in the late 70s, those Jeeps only had a, a lap belt strap. They didn't have the shoulder harness. And um Yeah, you could be right, dude. I don't know. I don't think it's documented, but that's my theory. 
I do know Gene Simmons rode in it with uh, one of the doors off, right? Yeah. Hey, Kurt, let's see those guns real quick. You've been going to the gym, and you got me beat. So Why are you calling me out on this? Because I want to see the guns. Oh, my God. I don't want to see the hammer. I want to see the guns. Oh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm getting hard already. No, oh, my here. gosh. <laughs> Good for you. But, but, do you have, oh, wrong arm, do you have one of these? Oh, man, look at that. I do not. Dang. <laughs> I will have to tell you guys all, I went and, and met Rob for the first time in early November, and um, just meeting him, he's a couple years older than me, only by a couple years, Okay, but it well, motivated me to get back, get back in the gym, and I started working out in uh, late November, early December, and I haven't missed a week um, since. So, Rob, thanks for the motivation, dude. Well, whatever uh, you fucking lost, I gained. I'm getting fat as fuck. So, anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, dude. hey, seriously, no, um, no, <laughs> you know what? Um, uh, <laughs> On that note, when Kurt got here, um, I thought he was in really good shape. And he was naked in my bed. I thought he was even better shape. But that's <laughs> no, Kurt was in really good shape. Where's Mancota? Oh Mancota, where did you go? No. Um, Kurt was in good shape. And all kidding aside, <laughs> I'm not gay. Anybody that knows me knows I'm anything but that. Uh, there's, not, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> well... Beyond gay, yeah, as Eddie said, gay, that's okay. Beyond gay, I, I don't know, that's weird. But anyway, Kurt, <laughs> oh uh, Kurt was uh, in really good shape. And uh, <laughs> anyone that um, I can help out to kind of inspire those of you guys that know my Instagram or, or my Facebook will be up online probably in a week or so. Um, <laughs> we're not going to get into why I don't have Facebook right now, but that's another story. <laughs> we're talking Van Halen tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Anytime I can inspire someone to get back to the gym and work out, um, that's a great thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my condom. What are you doing with that in your mouth? <laughs> um, that's awesome. And I'm glad to hear that Kurt got back to the gym because he was already in really good shape. And uh, it's always great when someone can take themselves to another level physically um, and mentally. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Very and Johnny, cool. we have a question. Yes. KDB5150, is it, is it that one? what's the best way to get a balanced sound? I got two. I'll, I'll give you two answers, and then Rob, you can give, give an answer. Johnny, you can get an answer. I'll say. I'll give. Let me give you my answer right now. Ask Rob. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's. Oh. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm ripping through right now. That's wow. the little CHR ten X book. Yep, so that uh, KBD5150, that uh, 5150, that T THR10X, if you grab the balance patch, we got a buddy that sells them for 10 bucks, or you can dial one in yourself. It's a brown two, I think, with some chorus and some delay. Really, really good. Um, or you can get a, a Harmonist, either a Harmonist pedal or um, what's the new one? The red pedal. Um, the H3? The the micro pitch, I think. Micro pitch, yeah. Um, I mean, that's a whole show we could talk about, just the balance sound. Well, if you guys follow me on Instagram, Definitely. you can see my wet, dry, wet rig. Um, yeah, depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for a bedroom rig, there. if you want a mono bedroom rig, you can do the THR 10X, which is what Kurt has and I have. Um, if you want to get the true balance sound um, out of that, you um you can get a really good sound of it, right, you know, right out of the box. But <clears throat> you can get uh, patches online. 
um, through the through the Yamaha website, and they have a, a Eddie Van Halen 5150 balance sound. It's actually yep. I think that's what patch is called. That's what I usually run through. You can get a cathedral sound. Um, if you want to get into the amplified <clears throat> um, sounds, where you want to get more technical, um, I feel guitar is here, man. Hey, what's up, dude? What's up? Dude, we were just talking about you. Thank you so much again, man. Talking about the guitar straps that you have. Yeah. World class. Thank you. Thank you, dude. Absolutely. Yeah. And again, Fairfield, I don't know if you got in here when we were talking about you before, but I was glad to uh, be a part of uh, um, hopefully giving you a little bit of input on, on the amazing product that you put out because you freaking nailed it. <laughs> and um, I would love to uh, be part of the uh, photo shoot when you want to do some guitars. That would be really cool. Um, so let me know when you're ready to do that because I have your info. Um, if you want to get in, you... Rob, hold on. Um, Schmitty, Trev Stream, Symmetry. He asked what cab I plugged that into that lump lunchbox. It's actually um, that's an amp and uh, speaker, so you don't plug it into anything. I think you probably can with the output, but it actually has little speakers in it, and it's incredible. Johnny has one. I have one. Rob has one. Yeah. Um, the THR 10X, the green one's kind of hard to find, but if you get the new one, it has all three in one. They're about uh, $400, $500 American. Um, they're great. Um, I actually have a PV Viper 40-watt um amp that i never use i use the thr probably 90 percent of the time um i mean it's right here it's easy to use you can the carry thr it is great yeah the they're THR awesome is, is is yes hey kai matthews welcome dude dude we got a party on here johnny yeah i dude i told you man yeah this it's gonna get it's gonna get bigger and better too wednesdays you guys Wednesdays at this time, whatever time it is right now, uh, eight thirty. Uh, well, eight o'clock Eastern. This is where you want to be on Wednesdays here on Twitch for Talking Van Halen. New show, new show here on Twitch for you guys. This Mikey, what's Johnny, what's this sold out? Bean. This is Johnny Bean. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Jelly Bean. This is Jelly. Hey, Jelly. Jelly. We call her Bean, but. She is not happy right now. She has resting bitch face. She loves being held. <laughs> I'll let you go. <laughs> she is not happy with me right now. <clears throat> Story of my life, by the way. Oh, the, the straps are sold out. Oh, Yeah, he's sold out already. <clears throat> Very cool. Very cool. What do people think of another limited run of straps? Man, what do you what do you think, Rob? I think uh, it was such a huge hit. Um, Thanks to you. I think you should do another. Well, <laughs> I was just <laughs> I was just glad to be a small part of it uh, when uh, when um, um, you know when when I got the message, but at the same time, I think uh, I think you should do another run because I think these things are going to be like they're going to go like hotcakes. Um, they really are, and I think he wow. nailed it. This is all kind. This is all stuff that we want to see. You know, another good. Um, there's all kinds of ideas. This strap, the one that Johnny was talking about. You know, this is a great idea. The gunner strap, the zombie, the bumblebee, pin, the which with with a dog leash, the yellow dog leash with a black electrical tape on it with a zombie pin. I have one downstairs. I mean. We've all been making this stuff, you know, out of our garages and the hardware stores and for years and years. So, you know, those folks that want to get, jump on the bandwagon and start putting this stuff out, that, that's great. You know, I mean, the 5150 strap, you know, the strap that Eddie used on the famous 5150 guitar, um, mm -hmm. you know, that's a, oh, yeah. that's a banjo strap. It's just a banjo strap. That's all it is. Um, you know, I mean, those would be great. Oh yeah, those, those would be great. There was some other company making those years ago, and I I ordered one, right. ordered one, and bought one. And the quality it was awful. It was like oh it was no, just terrible. I never used it. I couldn't. I never used it. But if there was a quality version of of a fifty one fifty guitar strap, that would be great. Oh yeah. You know what he used on the nineteen eighty four? 
Wasn't it the same, Kurt? You know, you maybe you got me on this one, but wasn't it the same thing? A banjo strap? He used a strap off a of, uh, VCR uh, recorder. What do you what what do you call those back in the day, Johnny? Camcorder. He used camcorder. Took a, strap camcorder. Off the, a camcorder bag, and that was the strap for the the nineteen eighty four. Was a camcorder bag yeah. strap. I dude, it's got, yeah, it's got the I, clips I, on it. I used one of those way back in the day too because it had the clips, and you yep. you would just take it off. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Well, the other thing that he used to use, if you look at a laptop computer uh, strap, the dog clips, that's basically what was on the Ernie Ball Music Man. It was the same type of thing. I mean, the Music Man was a little bit before, a few years before the laptops came out. But if you look at the actual um, clips, the dog clips, so to speak, they're a little bit different than the regular dog leash ones that he was using in the later years. They're mm-hmm. exactly the same as the laptop computer, like the Dell computer, HP laptop, you know, uh, straps. Mm-hmm. Same exact thing. And Mikey Mojo says, make the stud and dog chain. Um, that would be a cool one. Um, and I'll I think go he, got that from, he got that from an S&M store, right? The choker? <laughs> uh, he he uh, literally, he did. Oh, cool. Yeah. Looks like cool. Rob's gonna go grab it. But yeah, he uh it's a it's a choker necklace and then uh, a dog chain. I think he I think it's got something thing. to do with I think it's got something to do with bondage sex or something, but I don't know. Yep. <laughs> Wait, why is nobody laughing? It also looks like the uh dog collar <laughs> that uh Rocky put on uh Budkus. Budkus. And Rocky yeah. too. Right. Yep. Yeah, it's the same thing, basically. Yeah. So there's another that'd one you could make. One. That'd be that'd be a great one. Definitely. Very cool, man. We're nerds. <laughs> We're just idiot nerd geeks. Like, oh. who's here? Who's here? Come here. Who's here? Who's here? Who's Barney. Here? Barney who's agrees. Here? Barney <laughs> agrees, or Jimmy Carr showed up. <laughs> Well, Barney and I were supposed to be in Maine tonight, but that didn't work out. So we're sitting home. And he's not very thrilled. Hmm. We're going to go to the beach tonight. We're going to do a February beach trip. Cool. <laughs> These guys are on the Man. Good man. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. So, so you guys, if you want to follow Rob on uh, Instagram, there's there's his Instagram, and then I'll grab uh, I'll grab Kurtz as well. Selena Neck says, "Ah, Bean, don't be mean to her. I won't be mean to her." Join yeah. the party. Oh, the cat. The cat. Yeah. The cat. Awesome. Well, Johnny's like, Selena. Johnny's like, I'm a male. I'm not a female. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, Rob, you uh you have pretty much all the straps that uh Eddie's used over the major mm-hmm. decades. I have the um yeah, the World War II strap that Johnny just got. The well the VH1 strap, this one. Um I have the the yellow dog leash with a black electric table, the zombie pin. Uh there's another one, which is another basically a piece of black rope with red electrical tape on it, which was on mm-hmm. the Frankenstrat in 79. I have that one yeah. um, with the banjo strap on the 5150 and the Ernie Ball straps, the original ones, and then the e- uh, PV Wolfgang PV. straps and then the EVH stuff. Yeah, I try to keep I mean, I don't have all of the straps, but I, I think I got pretty much the main ones for the most part. <clears throat> The main one, uh, where I was supposed to be tonight, <laughs> but not in Maine, but you know what I mean. Um, so, come on, Selena. <laughs> laugh. It's kind of funny, actually. And yeah, I, didn't those plan, are... I, didn't even, I didn't even plan that when it came out right. but Main vein. <laughs> Anyways, I guess uh... that should lead me into one thing. So, <clears throat> um, there it. Curly's like drooling. Um, so, 
Kurt, don't get jealous, okay? So I'm, I'm anticipating someone, this. There is, <laughs> I don't even know how I'm going to do it. There is someone in the chat right now who is a uh, is a new person in my life, and she's a wonderful, wonderful woman, and um, uh, she agreed to watch tonight, watch us nerds talk about Van Halen and guitar straps and all this stuff that she probably really in real life could care less about. But she likes me enough to be part of it, and I think that's really cool. So I would like to introduce um, the new woman in my life, um, Selena Knox. And she is a beautiful woman, and she has a great family, and I'm really uh, happy to um, be part of her life, and I'm really looking forward to what is coming in the future. And this is a picture of her right now. So she's in the chat right now. And if anybody wants to say hello, you can say hello. And uh, <clears throat> um, I'm really, uh, really happy to uh, have a, a new chapter of my life, um, in the personal side anyways, um, be with her. And I'm really excited to see what, uh, what comes about. So thank you for watching and thank you for joining. And uh, um, yeah, let's have some fun. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And make sure to watch every Wednesday. Yeah. Love walks in. <laughs> Very good, man. That's that's congratulations. Right. Yeah, I got to talk to Selena today on the phone. Um, congratulations, Rob. I'm happy for the two of you. Um, hopefully, we get a meet in uh, June. Yeah. So there's a chance. She's not much on flying. But um, I'm going to NAM in June, and uh, we're going to hang out with Johnny again and Caleb and Kurt, and um, I'm not who, sure who else is going, but uh, hope, uh, I talked to Jay. I don't, I don't know if Jay's going or not, but uh, um, probably not. But um, <laughs> we're all going to hang out, and that'd be kind of fun. And Selena is, like, this close to wanting to learn how to – not learn, but, like, fly – I think I'm gonna to have to do the 18 BA Baracus, like knock her out with a two by four. To get her on a plane. Like, oh <laughs> you remember, uh, remember Commando? Um, remember the movie Commando with Schwarzenegger? He gets that dude on the plane, and he's just like, he's like, "Don't bother my friend. He's dead tired." <laughs> I would never do that. But, anyways, what I'm thinking is, um, um, she might come. So that'd be kind of cool. So anyways, I'm looking forward to seeing Johnny. I haven't seen Johnny since uh, 2019. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude, yeah, it'll be great. It'll be great to, to, to hang out, hang out with you yeah. guys. Yeah. And, and, and really nerd out with a lot of this stuff. Yeah. It'd be kind of fun. <laughs> And, and those of you who who are new and uh, to this, I guess platform, Rob has a huge collection. What do you say? Second biggest uh, Eddie Van Halen guitar collection in the country. Uh, um, I know you brought your fifty one fifty up tonight. You want to talk about the addition you're doing to that thing? Yeah. So um, say no to drugs as well. <laughs> <laughs> Not alcohol though. <laughs> Um, no, I, uh, um, I, I think probably it's, 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 it's one of the biggest, as far as like, you know, variety concern, you know, certainly don't have the most Van Halen guitars, but probably hopefully variety. I think it's up there with Scott Smith and some of the others, but, um, this particular guitar, the Kramer 5150, which is a replica of, um, the real one, um, which has pretty much is, is, is much of the dings and dents and nicks. And um, I don't know if you guys can check it out. Um, wood grain, and it's hard to tell, but maybe you can see the wood grain kind of, you know, through the body and whatever. Um, oh, yeah. Wood. And all yeah. The Swiss cheese and everything. Kurt's seen this guitar. It's got an original uh, FRT5 whale tail, original one. It's not a remake. And the remakes they're doing right now are amazing. Um, uh, it's got a PV Wolfgang pickup, which is what Eddie put in his original in uh, 1996. Um, <clears throat> the back 
as you can tell, has all the um, all the bells and whistles. It's got the right neck plate, which is um, B4129 um, serial number. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's got a Utala neck. That's not a real crack in the headstock. It's a fake crack, but it works pretty well. Um, <clears throat> And uh, yeah, it's got all the right hardware. It's got the exact same string tree, the exact same string retainer. On uh, I think I just showed it, but I didn't show the tuners. It's got a, a shower double tab for the six tuning peg. And then the original six tuning peg down here was moved down to the bottom when the headstock broke. And they're all those are gatos. This neck um, <clears throat> I'm going to be gifting to Kurt. In the next um, probably few weeks, um, and the only reason I'm actually uh, changing it out is not because of the playability, because as you can tell, it plays amazing. But um, I'm going to get one of the. This is a lock body, a Chris lock body from Lock Custom Guitars. And Donnie Ward, who was working with Chris Lock, is making a new. Um, neck and he's doing it exactly the same way that Paul Unker did um, with taking a originally a, a, a strat style neck turning it into a beak neck chicken hawk neck which is the Kramer classic neck and then cutting off a piece of, of, of the top here and back here and actually um, uh, doweling birch. and gluing on um, a piece of birch from uh, his father's bedroom uh, set <laughs> from the uh, bed set and that's basically how the 1984 and the 5150 headstocks were made. So Donnie Ward has pretty much honed in on that um, procedure, and he's doing that exactly the same way that Paul Unker did. Um, and uh, so I'm getting one of those necks, and my good friend Chris Hubbard, Hubs 5150, is going to paint it for me. And um, the only reason I'm doing it is to make this guitar just a little bit more accurate to how the real one was made. So this particular neck is going to go to Kurt, and it's going to be a gift for me because Kurt is a really good friend of mine, and I want him to have it um, because I think it's something that uh, would would uh, be good on his, his guitar. So uh, and Johnny, if you want to isolate me, I'll, I'll show you the deficiencies of mine. One, it's kind of hard to see, I guess, through here, but. The headstock is just a little too short. If you see the Kramer decal and the string retainer, they're like in the wrong spot from Eddie's. So this headstock's a little bit short. It also doesn't have the back uh, mount for the nut. So it's going to be a little bit more accurate. But thanks to Rob, he hooked me up with uh, the place to get this vintage uh, string retainer. Um, the string tree also just recently, I got the correct neck plate, the steel block, black springs, the yellow, uh, wire. And then just recently I put a, uh, Pasadena black 86, um, pickup in this as well. So it'll be complete with, uh, with the new neck and then my my cheese job isn't just like rob's but uh it's got a few of them it's my my kind of relic jobs a little bit earlier in uh in the transformation of that guitar compared to his so rob mm -hmm. it's awesome man i appreciate it well rob left and he's gone but but um <laughs> did all that that's for nothing. awesome that's awesome dude congratulations congratulations and hey steve-o thank you for following man steve-o 5150 what's up steve-o thank you so much man steve-o uh, got a uh gut strap as well recently oh right on yeah we're bringing all kinds of crazy 5150s into this thing tonight <laughs> yeah and and, and steve-o bought uh that so? rob's um old uh circles guitar that's the guy that uh that bought rob's old guitar oh cool 
Yeah. Very cool. I think he's just about done putting it together. Sorry, I had to go drain the anaconda. Oh. <laughs> steve in here. <laughs> Rob. Hey, steve what's going on? How's that guitar body coming? Awesome. He's a great guy. He's throwing, he's throwing some pariahs in there as well. Nice. Man, those, those pickups are incredible. Oh, you know, Sean Christopher has that dialed in. You know, I'm going to tell you, Seymour Duncan, DiMarzio, um, all those different companies, they're amazing. They're awesome. And I love all the all the, uh, all the uh, versions they have. One of my favorite of the Duncans is the Duncan 78. It's an amazing pickup. I have it in uh, many of my guitars. I like the um, Duncan but... Donut. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? As, as amazing as the DiMarzios and the Duncans and, and all the different, you know, the EVH pickups, they're all incredible. And I would recommend them to anybody. And I have them in my guitars. But I want to just put take one second and give a shout out to Pariah Pickups for Sean. Um, he's right up there with those guys. He does amazing work. And the sound he gets out of those pups is just insane. So keep up the good work, buddy. Um, and we're going to keep pushing your product because you've really done a great job. Congratulations. Anyone who's building a, right a, a well said, Rob, a Van Halen guitar, you know, he does the pound cake which is great. Um, he does yeah. the Pasadena Black, the Pasadena White. Another great one that he does is the Super 70, which I heard is a great um, pickup. Super for, 70? Like, I haven't uh, heard of that. Yeah, Super Super 70, which would be great in your Shark guitar. Wow. I have a, actually in my Shark, I, I think I have an original uh, DiMarzio Super Distortion, which I think is what was in the real one. But yeah, that's great. I didn't yeah. hear that that particular model. Wow, that's cool. Super 70. Really? Okay. Cool. Yeah. And hey, Gunner 5150. Thank you uh, for following, man. Awesome. Thank you. And yes, anybody that's new to this, Twitch. Wednesdays. Every Wednesday. Well, actually, uh, I think I, th I saw Trev, uh, Trev yeah. uh, Strem said something earlier. Yeah. So, so the plan is to uh to do a, a van halen show here on twitch every wednesday but the last wednesday of the month will be on youtube doing doing the the metal show jay's uh uh metal what is it called metal wednesday metal wednesday so that that'll, that'll be on youtube heavy but, metal but every every wednesday <laughs> though will be will be uh here on twitch doing talking van halen <laughs> And and if, if you like, if you're on Twitch and you're brand new to this, you know, if you're here already, we do a show on Fridays called exclusively Van Halen. So this is like a preview for like for like the, the, the Friday show. So so come back and join us on on YouTube on Fridays. Same time. Right. Yeah. EVH. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock uh, Eastern. Yep. EVH exclusively Van Halen. <laughs> we so like we got a little bit of chat that. about uh, some pickups in here. Uh, Steve-O says Pound Cake and uh, Ernie Ball Music Man EX is incredible. I know, Rob, you put those in your, your PV. Um, I think Mikey Mojo, he's doing uh, circles, and he he ordered the, the Pasadena White for that one. Yeah. The And, you know, I have them in two of my guitars, both of those, and they're both incredible. The Pound Cakes I have in my striped PV. Um, and the Pasadenas, I think I have in my, I think those are in my star guitar. I want to say they're in my, my, uh, my Christopher Locke, uh, Charvel star guitar replica. Yeah. And they, and they're incredible. They're just insane. They're, they're awesome. <clears throat> cool. Cool. And, uh, yeah, Gunner 5150 <clears throat> Wednesdays, Wednesdays, uh, will, will be, uh, here on Twitch. Well, I will be, and whoever else can be here will be as well. Yep. <laughs> Basically, I'm looking to expand the the Johnny Bean TV, and and I've been doing a lot of uh, GTA uh, video gaming over here lately, 
and it's awesome, but you know something that that, that we're already kind of known for is the Van Halen thing, and so why not also do that here as well? Did you say PDA? So, what? <laughs> Public display, of, public display of affection? What? No, but I, I saw some of that today, and I, I was disgusted. <laughs> yeah. You know? Well, Kurt saw some when he was back <laughs> here in November, but... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Kurt, do you want to see it again? Hold on, let me show you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Is this Mancuda? <laughs> yeah. So that video you guys did, never mind of Mancota with the with the sound bite. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was so <laughs> I was trying to get Johnny classic. to show that's that last so night awful. on the show. Has has John has Mancuda seen that? <laughs> yeah, has Mancota seen that? I don't know. With the sound effects? I'm sure he would he approve. Has. I'm sure he would approve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, Gunner fifty one fifty. Yeah, yeah. Anything, anything cool, definitely, <clears throat> definitely. Yeah, Here, uh, and everyone in the chat, top. put in uh, what you want us to talk about on future shows, topics or things you want us to cover. Um, between the three of us, you know, we have over probably close to a hundred years of knowledge. I know Johnny's twenty nine. Um, yeah, so, so I don't have Rob that and I, many, that's but about yeah, hundred. and Johnny's kind of young. <laughs> I have, I have a Even few. Though we're the same age. But I have a few years. Age. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I mean, I still play with toys. You know, I mean, <laughs> there it is. Rob, do you have Rob, one of those you, yet? Rob, do you have one of these yet? I do not have a Funko Pop. Someone watching our show was supposed to send me one. They said a month and a half ago. Remember? They're like, I got two. I'm going to send Rob one, but I never got it. So I don't know. I, I was waiting to get the freebie, but nobody sent me the freebie. So I guess I'm going to. Is have that to Selena? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Those are pretty cool. Those are pretty. I'm probably definitely going to get one. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get it one. It is. It is. And so, you guys, Wednesdays at this time, keep watching because a future Wednesday here on Twitch, I'll be giving one away. Wow. So stay tuned in here Wednesdays for Talking Van Halen. I'll be giving away an Eddie Van Halen Funko Pop in a future episode. <laughs> they are pretty cool. Kurt, you get it's up for the eyeballs. <laughs> I'm just looking at a picture that I got from a good friend of mine and my tongue fell out of my mouth, but you know. <laughs> is it a, oh a picture of a guitar or a, a stack of amps? It's a stack of something, but <laughs> <laughs> stack of pancakes. Wait, wait, hold on. Pound cakes. <laughs> remember the, remember, remember the uh, interlude of "Good Enough" in fifty one fifty. Rack a what? <laughs> we all have some of that. We all have some of that. <clears throat> yeah. But, uh, yeah, you guys, I'll, I'll give you guys, I'll give you guys a, a hint. Um, yeah, these things were announced back in December. And so everybody ordered one, myself included. And and they weren't supposed to be here till like, I'm, I'm getting mine in March, I guess. March 17th. March 17th is when supposedly when, when mine's showing up. But but uh, somebody, uh, somebody told me, like, Johnny, go to the official Funko uh, site and you can order them. So I ordered a couple, I got them a week later and then those were sold out. But now what you can do, what you guys can do is if you have a hot topic in a mall in your area, they might hot have topic. a couple of these. Yeah. <laughs> they might have a couple of these. Yeah. So, so you, you can, you can go to a hot topic and, and maybe get one or keep watching here on, uh, the first three Wednesdays of every month, and and you might win. You might win this one. Nice hat, Rob. I guess some asshole gave it to me. I don't know who it is. <laughs> no, so I want to give a shout out to my good friend. Kurt. <laughs> yeah, I got to back up. From that one. So my good friend Kurt sent me initially one of these, red, white, and black. 
Okay. That's your favorite, I think. That's my favorite. <clears throat> then he sent me one of these. And then finally, he sent me one of these, which I think they're all freaking incredible. And of course, everything looks good on me. This one looks really good. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So thank you to I've my had, uh, Thank you. I've had a bunch of people ask me if they can get a hat or where they get these hats. And I no longer work at the company anymore that uh, I worked for when I made them. So was, was it called Hat gone. Topic? Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Head topic. <laughs> you know when you get drunk with everything you, anybody says just sounds funny? I mean, anything sounds funny? That's me right now. Oh, man. How about that? You won't be laughing after you read this question. <laughs> yeah. That oh, wing? man. I like both. I like both. But... That's what she said. <laughs> um, I would have to say wings. Whoa. Wings, yes. Kurt, and you had the best wings ever when you came to see me at Hanger. Yep. Hanger has the best wings. They have the most incredible wings ever. Seriously. Oh, oh, he's, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. So they're talking onion rings oh. or chicken wings wings or, or wings, that's what that's what they mean wings or wings rings well, that's right an, that's an oval yeah wings and then the rings is the uh the other hat you're wearing rob yeah right the rings the vh2 i thought he was talking about either uh chicken wings or onion rings or belly rings oh i like chicken wings but I also like onion rings. Like I said, both. Yeah, my first first variation of Van Halen was the rings right here. Oh, same here. Yeah, me too. Yep. Right there. Same here. That was <laughs> well, my I mean, first. We're all, we're, but I mean, we're all kind of seriously all kidding aside. We're all kind of the same age. So, I mean, we all I mean, Johnny, I think Johnny probably got into Van Halen quicker than any of us did i mean i got in a van i mean i remember i remember vaguely uh vh1 you know you really got me in talking about love jamie's crying i remember that but i was too young i was like i was born in 73 so four five six seven i was only five years old when i was like three months when i got into van halen <laughs> <laughs> but you I know was four really days old when i heard eight. the first song i remember and when i and, really uh, started paying attention though was like probably diver down. I remember hearing where have all the good times gone. Um, uh, you know, they were, that's when I really kind of started paying attention. And then 1984 came out and I'll never forget. I was on vacation with my friend, Jimmy, um, not Jimmy Ka, but another friend. Ka? Who seen World vacation. We were on vacation at Lake Winnipesaukee in New Hampshire, which is where my mom and dad keep their boat. And, um, what'd you call me? <laughs> 1984 came out and Panama and Jump and Pop for Teacher. And I was like, whoa, what the fuck is this? This is insane. This is incredible. And then 5150 came out. And then when 5150 came out in 1986, I was like in seventh grade, I think, sixth or seventh grade. I went from, you know, elementary school to middle school. And I was like, wow, these guys are freaking incredible. So when I really started paying attention was in the Hagar era. And then my high school anthems were you know, for unlawful carnal knowledge and, you know, right now and, you know, love walks in. And, um, and then when I got out of high school and went to college, you know, balance came out. So that's when I was just like, you know what, I want to start playing guitar. So I got a late start on it because I was always in martial arts and working out and all that stuff. And I didn't start playing guitar until I was 22 years old, which was in nine. Well, actually, wow. 23, 23, 1995. Oh, no, 22, 22. I was, I was 21. I've been and, playing for 10 years by that point. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, I, that, you know, I started playing later and um, that's when it really hit me. I mean, I've been a Van Halen fan for forever. And I, the first concert I saw him was, it was in balance. And I was just like, 
you know, I mean, I remember they came out with Seven Seal in Worcester, Massachusetts. And I was just like, holy shit, this is just insane. You know, and here's this guy with his work shirt on, this gas station shirt with sleeves cut off, frosted tips, which I'm doing again this summer, by the way. <laughs> Goatee. And here's Eddie Van Halen, who looks ex totally different than the guy that he did, you know, two years before. And that's when I just started playing guitar. And that's when I, you know, met Scott Smith and Jerry Leica and all those dudes. And we just started painting these freaking things. And this is 20 something years later, what you end up with, you know, um, so much fun. And along the way, you know, meeting guys like Johnny in 1990s, what, seven, Johnny? We met, well, not physically, but like we met on the trading list in 97 or 98. Nine, nine to nine. Nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, so it's, it's just so much fun, you know. And all these years later, being part of this and still learning stuff. And the king is the king is gone, but not forgotten. And we're still just we're still cruising as fans, and that's just so much freaking fun. And it's all because of you guys and everybody in the chat that keeps all this stuff alive. So. That's what makes us keep going. Thanks to all you guys. Yeah. Seriously. So after Rob, Rob's done off his uh, soapbox giving his speech, <laughs> no, November 86, for my ninth birthday, my grandma got me a Sony Walkman, and I didn't have a tape to my name. So I got the Sony Walkman. I'm like, what, you know, what am I doing with this? My brother gave me 5150. And it was all over, like, you know, listen to it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then that Christmas, he gave me Van Halen 1 on one side of a Memorex, Van Halen 2 on the other side of a Memorex for Christmas a month later. And then after that, like, it was all over. I was a Van Halen fan, yeah. you know, hook, line, and sinker. And then I kind of went back. I had remembered 1984, you know, um, watching it on MTV, but then I went back and started getting all the later albums, and I remember when OU812 came out, but uh, Sammy was my first uh, inkling of Van Halen, and I, I didn't start playing guitar. My first guitar I got was the Frankie that I'm showing you guys. I got uh, the day before 9-11. That's so cool, um, man. Yeah. I remember when I got it, I called my brothers. I'm like, hey, are we still going to play guitar tonight? My brother's like, no, not, you know, do you watch from TV? What's going on? And uh, I was more interested in playing guitar than uh, following what was going on in the national news. I think I was probably 2000. What was that? 2001. One. Yeah. Yeah. I was 23, 24. Yeah. Cause I was 20. Kurt, how old are you now? I'm 48. How old are you? I'm 44. Okay. You're four years. So I was, yeah, I was in my late twenties and I was working at Vermont Yankee at the time when all of it went down and then the world trade center got hit and then, uh, the Pentagon got hit and we went into lockdown cause I was working at a nuclear power plant. I was the firearms instructor, you know, so we locked everybody down. We kept everybody over and we were like, oh my gosh. And I remember when I finally got home, like two days later, you know, we had F-14s flying over and it was, it was just crazy, but, uh, yeah, it was a crazy time, but, um, Back to fifty one fifty. That's a great. Uh, that's a great cassette tape to get. Yeah, that's a great. Uh, that's a great uh, way to start out. Summer nights. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. Same here. Plug that thing in. I hit play. That was my first. Hello, time. baby. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what you said to me when you woke in up that next. <laughs> Johnny, where did you get uh, – did you go out and buy the tape yourself or did someone gift it to you? Yeah. How did you get, get yours? I, I – uh, well, I, I first saw – I first discovered Van Halen because of MTV in 1984, seeing the jump video, how for teacher video, Panama, and thinking, you know, thinking they were just funny. You know, how for teacher was a funny yep. video, which it was, you know. Um, and then it, for me, it, it really started when I saw Back to the Future – in the movie theater, you know, there's the part where, where the, there's the cassette tape that says Edward Van Halen on it. You hear that riff. And then, so it was pretty much after that, uh, I remember going to target 
uh, like the next year, and there was 5150 and Eat 'em and Smile on a display side by side. Target and, was out back then? Yeah. Really? I never knew that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yep. That was like Kmart and Wall, like, and, like uh, uh, Ames and all those stores. I don't know. Shopco. Is, but, um, yeah. So there was 5150 right okay. next to Eat 'em and Smile, right? Yeah. And I, I'm like, Van Halen. I'm like, and that was that was that was really it for me. And I did eventually. You have chosen Smile. wisely. Yes, <laughs> yes. And I I did buy Edom and Smile uh, years later, but I bought the Spanish version of it. <laughs> what was that? Give me a so, jelly donut and a bottle anything. To go. So I, I would listen to Edom and Smile in Spanish. <laughs> 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 yeah but yeah that was it for me and then after 5150 i bought van halen one kind of like kurt yeah. and so i grew up on both eras it all being van halen all being the same and i never really saw any of that negativity or craziness yeah. um until until i jumped on the internet and that's that's when i met rob actually when i yeah, first jumped was on like the internet 96 that's when the whole dave coming back to the mtv awards and gary sharon coming on and sammy leaving that's like when all the drama really started all over again 10 years after sammy hmm. left yeah 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 um <clears throat> but yeah hey F fairfield guitar hey dude dude thanks thanks, thanks for stopping by friend. dude thanks buddy and uh 10 percent 10 yeah, ten percent of all straps sales great. will be donated to the American Cancer Society. So you That's all awesome. support a great cause. That's great. Seriously. Very cool, man. That's awesome. What a great guy, Fairfield Guitars. What a great guy. Seriously, keep it up, man. Thank you so much for everything you did. You came, you came in with a bang. That's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> uh, what's uh, what's everybody's the three of us? <clears throat> let's um, four Van Halen songs that are our favorite Van Halen songs. If we had to pick four songs out of the entire catalog, from VH1 all the way up to a different kind of truth, what would our four favorite Van Halen songs be? Uh, Johnny, you go first. Oh. <laughs> or I don't oh. care. Kurt, you know, yeah. No, I'll go first. I'll I'll go first. Four favorites. Well, I'm just going by. You mean all time or just today? All time. All time. Doesn't matter who all sings. Time? Four favorite band. It could be any singer. It could okay. Be any all right. Um, I'm I'm gonna say when it's love. Yeah. Is a, a huge been a huge favorite of mine. Uh, let's see. When it's love. Um, pretty woman. That's another another huge favorite. Yep. Oh man, there's there's a lot of songs, huh? <laughs> uh, I know it's a hard un question. Un Unchained. Yes. And I'm gonna hope, I'm gonna have to go with another Sammy. Uh, Love walks in. I mean. Cool. And I know you, you Roth guys would really hate it if I if I took out Unchained and traded that <laughs> with Dreams, which I'm gonna do. So I'm going all Sammy. All ballads. <laughs> Wait, you got pretty, no? You got Pretty Woman in there? No, Pretty Woman's in there. Okay, okay. You got Pretty Woman. Okay, so yeah, you got Pretty Woman. Love, Pretty Woman, Love Walks In, and uh, Dreams, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You got a rock song in there. There you go. There you go. Good, good all choice. Right. All, all awesome songs. Awesome song. Good. Best, best of both worlds. Jamie's crying. Hot for teacher and 5150. But I think we should have an honorable mention. So I'll go. Um, man, Judgment Day, probably. Honorable mention. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> well, 
Uh, this is not an easy question. Um, and the reason I asked it is because it's not an easy question. And <laughs> there is not a song that Van Halen has put out that I don't like. There's definitely a couple that are, you know, I, I, I don't, like, you know, how many say I, those kind of songs. I'm not, I don't listen to those all the time. I still think it has some really cool stuff to it. Um, I'm not going to slam any Van Halen song. Um, but <clears throat> I guess it's interesting because my four choices are two Roth and two Sammy. And it's so hard to pick these. It just, it's tough because my, it's interesting because my favorite Van Halen albums are Balance and 5150. And they're both Sammy era albums. Mm -hmm. Fair Warning would be a real close one too. But as far as the four favorite Van Halen songs of all time, Ain't Talking About Love, Unchained, Summer Nights, and 5150. Those are my four favorite Van Halen songs of all time. Nice. And every one of the songs that you guys picked, I love. And it's so hard because, I mean, I could, you know, if I could go 10, I'd throw in Don't Tell Me and Seven Seal and When It's Love and, you know, uh, Jamie's Crying. I mean, go all 11. Those, yeah. <laughs> mine, all mine. Yeah. It's seriously. Summer Nights. It's so freaking hard to pick them. But, yeah, it would be Ain't Talking About Love, Unchained, Summer Nights, 5150. Um, 51 and, 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 and if I had to pick a favorite Van Halen song, <laughs> it would probably be, a, it ain't talking about love or 5150. It'd be one of those two. Ain't talking about love. Cause it's just classic, easy power chord, cowboy chord, rock, simple song to play. <laughs> just sounds amazing in 5150 because the double stops and just the actual riffage, the melodic riffage of that song. Is just incredible. It's one of the longest intros the Van Halen's ever recorded. Fifty-one fifty. Just the intro goes on forever. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just well, it's just tasty. Speaking of that, I have to split for for like a minute. Yeah. Trev Stram's asking, can you play a few licks? Can you play a few licks from from each of your favorites? Uh I can try, but I'm a little drunk. So <laughs> that's that's even better. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so. He we'll start his with, first uh, song he learned was "Ain't Talking About Love." Yeah, so uh, uh, I'm gonna—I'll try, but like I said, I wish I'd known I was gonna play guitar before I actually had 19 drinks. But um, so I don't know if you guys can hear this, but so please forgive me. But sounds good. And of course, my favorite part of the song I fucked up. Oh, there you go. That's my favorite part of the whole song. Just that whole, that one part. But um, on chain, I'm not in drop D, so. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm definitely drunk. Kurt, help me out here. No, I'm not even plugged in. You did Summer Nights at the beginning, didn't oh, you? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Hold on. What the hell's going on? I can't even play it. Whatever. Anyways. So, yeah. uh, Summer Nights. Ugh. <clears throat> 5150 again drop D oh gosh again to play it now I'm too drunk oh, 
Not now, not now. I'm sorry. All you right. guys got to watch my Instagram. I'm too drunk. My fingers aren't even working. So, but, Rob, uh, your first your first show was Balance, correct? Live? Yeah, it was Worcester Centrum, 1995. Yeah. Yeah, my, my first show was Balance as well. It's kind of crazy that uh, that was our first same exact live, you know, tour. And, and then you saw you saw all the the David Lee Ross stuff from yeah. uh, 07 on up, oh, 2012, 2015. Yeah, let's see. Uh, so balance in the Worcester Centrum. <clears throat> um, then I saw saw him in 1998. Yep. With Gary in Hartford, Connecticut, in Boston, Mass. And then the next tour they did after 98 was 2004. I saw him twice in Worcester Centrum, uh, Massachusetts. I saw him on uh, June 19th and the 20th the next night. I was in the Golden Ring on Ed's side. I got to shake Ed's hand that night. Uh, then 2007, I saw him in uh, Uncasville, Connecticut at uh, Foxwoods Casino. 2012, I saw him again in Boston at the, was it the Fleet Center. For the uh, uh, city band, I, I forget what it was. I think it was Fleet Center. <clears throat> and then 2015, I saw him in Hartford, Connecticut. Yeah. Um, and that 5150 riff is ticking me off because I, okay. I know I can play it. <laughs> I'm too drunk, but yeah. Yeah, and Streamyards is compressed in it anyway, so it's kind of going in and out. Yeah. Um, oh, let's see. Okay. And I was playing. Then I was playing it right. Sorry. Right, right, right. My shows were balanced um, in '95 at uh, the Gorge and George, which is an amphitheater. Yeah. And then in '98, I saw him with Gary at the um, Gorge and George with my wife. That was uh, the one concert we went to together. Yep. And then 04, I saw him at the Seattle Civic Center with Sammy. And then um, 2007, Seattle Civic Center with Dave. Yeah. Then 2012, I saw him in the Tacoma Dome with Dave. And then 2015, I actually saw the second show of that tour. They kicked off. The first show was in um, Auburn, Washington. And the second one was in Ridgefield, which is like 20 minutes north of Portland. Yeah. Um, so I saw that show in 2015. So it was the second show of the tour. Yeah. That's There's awesome. Ned. There he is. Ned! There's, Ned. There's Ned. Well, I don't think Selena's still here, but if she is, Ned, Ned, say hi to Selena. This is Ned, everybody. How old is Ned, would you say, Johnny, now? He's, He's... over two. Yeah. What a good cat. Look at him. He's so chill. Look at him. Put his head down. He's so chill. Look at yeah. him. Nope. Oh. <laughs> and then He's rob awesome. uh i i think i saw david lee roth twice was he he, he was sam, here sammy no. twice <laughs> <laughs> he was in the chat yeah, yeah. Dave's in the chat. <laughs> kdb 5150 thank you for following man thank you that's awesome cool johnny did you ever see david lee roth solo no i never, never did either i always wanted to see you know my favorite my favorite roth song like david lee roth when he was solo was probably just like paradise paradise is probably my favorite one yankee rose would come in second probably i would say for me yankee rose is probably my favorite yeah i yeah. would think I would, yankee rose is my favorite out of yeah out of his his solo solo stuff I remember uh, roller skating to that song. He used to go. Yeah. Oh my gosh! On Friday funny. nights, he'd go to the I roller still rink. Roller skates. You still roller skate, don't you? I roller blade. I roller blade now. Yeah, but I remember Friday nights, roller rink, roller rink, and I remember Yankee Rose playing, and a friend of mine skating past me, singing along to it. <laughs> That's cool. That's what I remember. So. Gunner5150 has a question that I think all three of us are probably going to answer the exact same one. Outside of the 5150, it's got to be the Ernie Ball, right? Uh, probably not me. Okay, um, that's mine. I thought I thought that was the same with you guys. I, Johnny, you too? 
Uh, favorite Eddie guitar? You mean you After mean the play? The 5150. Besides, you mean the, the play, or as far as like Eddie's actual guitars? Which one do you think his is guitar. Coo the coolest? Yeah. Um, I would say besides the 5150 Kramer, his coolest guitar. Oh man, I. I'm gonna have to say the the '84 Kramer. I guess. Um, cool. Well, definitely. Um, I'm gonna just show you. I'm, I'm gonna go down and show you because I think it's okay. Thirty. We can't go past six, guys. <laughs> so, uh, fifty-one fifty. I know we were gonna do an hour. No, I'm, I'm no. We're gonna no. I'm gonna make this quick. The 5150 guitar is my absolute favorite, but you guys are really gonna appreciate this one. My second favorite Van Halen guitar. All right, since Rob's going downstairs, Johnny, you ever go to the bar and you talk to someone that's had too much to drink and they just talk and talk and talk and talk? <laughs> that's how he is normally, man. <laughs> 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 Ooh, there you oh, go. Oh, it will be the Steinberger GL2T. Great trans, choice. Trans oh, man. Wait, yeah. Rob, did you? Oh, dude, you just reminded me, man. Did you see this? You guys must you must have seen this. Oh, man. Where, where was that? <clears throat> God, can you imagine if he used that on 1984? And uh, uh, well, he was using it, and he he had you know. this in '84. Yeah, faceplate wasn't striped, but this this faceplate was professionally striped by Jeff Babbitts, um, who <laughs> built Eddie's. And yep. this is a real 1985 GL2T built in Newburgh, uh, Newburgh, New York. Uh, it's a real, obviously, it's a real trans trim. Yeah. And if you guys look at my Instagram, you'll see me. There's some pictures of me playing the summer nights on this thing when I'm not drunk. Um, but, uh, I just had this thing completely rebuilt, uh, two and a half years ago. Uh, the trans drum was completely rebuilt. Faceplate was professionally striped exactly like Eddie's, um, <clears throat> has the zero fret EVH, um, mod done to it, which means back here on the first fret, um, <clears throat> there's some grooves beyond the first fret back here because Eddie would bend the strings and they would pop out of the nut or so-called nut, whatever you want to call it, um, <laughs> right? Um, had a brand-new refret job. Um, whole body was buffed. All new pickups. Those are 85 EMGs and uh, new new Steinberger knobs and everything. So it's basically like a brand spanking new GL2T. Take off knob. It is an original. <clears throat> and... Right. Travis Green, he he asked about the trans trim and get up. Basically, the easiest way to say it is, you know, you're changing pitch with that yeah. trans trim bar, uh, either right. up or down. Right. Yep. And Rob, yes. did you see this? You might have saw this, Kurt. Uh, you know, very strange life on Instagram. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So you, maybe you saw this, Rob. Maybe, maybe, maybe you saw these. Yes, okay. I saw that the other day. That's Rudy. Is that Rudy? No. No, that that that's a band. Uh, once upon a time in Malibu, there was a club called. Is it Trank Trankus? Yeah, he 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 it says is. who it was. Edward that's often stopped in and played with the house band called Cahoots. Yeah, and that's before so, he painted the faceplate, or Jim O'Connor painted it. So that's yeah. that's him playing with the house band right there. There's that one. And Rob's got to get that strap now, that leather strap he's got on there. And then there's <laughs> this one here. I didn't see that one, but that's cool. Look at the strap, Rob. Yeah, look at that. That is cool. Now, in the Young Guitar magazine where they did those photo oh, shoots. that's shoot a good picture. At 5150, he had that leather strap. Yeah, that's cool. Eddie looks a little like me right there. Very cool. He posts some awesome stuff. Very strange life posts a oh. lot of awesome. Simon, Incredible. his name's Simon. Yeah. Yep. Simon, if you're watching this, man, 
You rock, dude. A lot of awesome, awesome stuff. So right now, I actually got this guitar tuned up to the right pitch. Um, can't even hear it. Hold on. Still, still a little drunk, but... You're on a laptop, huh? Uh oh. Thank you, KDB. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I know it sounds like crap, guys, but it really does sound pretty cool. <laughs> but it's got the little kickstand here. But cool guitar. Very, very, very cool. Steinberger GL2T trans trim. Man, at some point I would I would love to try one of those. Johnny, I'm yeah, bringing that, this to California with me. So we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna actually uh, I'm gonna bring this with me when I come out in June, so you're gonna get a chance to check it out. That'd be awesome, man. Yeah. So this would be the number two for me. Cool. Cool. So, how are we? Are we good? We are yeah. good. <laughs> All right. We were only going to do an hour. You guys got a bonus uh, 27 minutes out of this. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. And again, if you like Van Halen here on Twitch, this is the place to be. Wednesdays. Well, the first three Wednesdays of the month. Yep. Talking Van Halen on Twitch. So, uh, and if you want some more, jump <laughs> jump on over to <laughs> YouTube on Fridays for exclusively Van Halen. Fridays, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, all right. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank, thank you, everybody everyone. For, thank you, everybody, thank for you following. Guys. Thank Trev, you so Trev, much. Thank you very much. Uh, he said Rob needs to uncheck the noise cancellation box on StreamYard. I'll have to check that out. Maybe that would help. You have um, to uncheck that out. Yeah. Uncheck right. that out, Rob, <laughs> on the wanger cam. The wanger? I got a wanger right here. <laughs> Man. Yeah. All no, right. Thanks, thank you, Trap. Appreciate it. Rock on, you guys. Welcome to the channel, everybody that's following. And I'll be back later with some GTA. It'll be awesome. Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks so much right. for watching. Don't hang up. All right. See you guys later. Johnny Bean TV on Twitch. Bye-bye. <laughs>